What is up guys? So I am here at my home. It is time to eat my next meal and I decided that I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to actually like cook a recipe, make kind of like a walkthrough of that. So that's what this video is, is it's going to be a walkthrough on how to make chicken rice soup that is macro slash diet plan friendly. You can obviously adjust things and do whatever you want to do to make it fit your goals, but this is what I'm going to do. So Thank you, come now, let's go. So weird. All right guys, first thing you're gonna want, pot. Preferably non-stick because if it sticks, then stuff's gonna stick to it. Um, and then from this point, what you're gonna do is we are going to take a chicken bouillon cube um, and we're gonna add it to some water in the pot and that is how we're gonna make our broth. Uh, just be wary, this has a shiz ton of sodium in it. Okay guys, now that you have that on the pot, it's heating up, um, just put it at about medium heat because um, you're gonna wanna get this to dissolve and be into it. What we're gonna do now is get the things that are gonna go inside the soup. So let's do that now. All right guys, so what we have got here is we have got some chopped onions, some peas and carrots, chicken, and then we got the rice in the pot back there. So basically you can mix and match your vegetables, whatever you want to really throw in there. Uh, just do be wary that like certain vegetables are going to be starchier, higher in carbohydrates. So if you're watching that or you're following a coach specific plan, uh, make sure that it, to work it in there and don't like really overeat on these. So as these ones have 50 um, calories per serving, which is two thirds of a cup, I'm probably going to do about a third of a cup uh, of these in there. Um, yeah, and then these are like super insignificant, so just add kind of the taste. Um, chicken's part of the plan, and then a cup of rice, and then wham bam, thank you ma'am, you are done with your soup. So basically what I'm going to do now is while this is heating up, I'm going to measure out my vegetables, stick those in there to cook with it, um, and the last, then at that point, once it starts to kind of get to a boil, I'm going to throw the chicken in there, let it sit for a couple of minutes to warm up. Um, and then the last thing that I'm going to add is the rice because the rice is already cooked so we don't want to overcook it and turn it into mush. Alright guys and here we are. We have added all the vegetables and all the chicken to it. 7 ounces of chicken in here. Um, basically just going to bring it back up to a boil again which it's about to do right now. And then at that point I'm going to add some rice to it. Um, Probably let it sit for like 30 seconds just to warm up the rice a little bit. And then wham bam, thank you ma'am, we have chicken and rice soup to enjoy. All right guys, forgot um, one more thing actually. So we're gonna grab some pepper here and pepper up that bad boy. Just add some spices. It's already got enough salt in there, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then probably just to add a little bit more kick some of this feast mode garden veggie um, just to you know kind of like amplify the uh, veginess of it um, but yeah so that's it all right guys here we are got us some chicken and rice soup um, very low like it's nothing like extra calories or anything it's pretty much just chicken rice um, 25 calories from those vegetables, like maybe like 30 calories, 40 calories overall of vegetables, which most of that is fiber, so don't even worry about it, but delicioso. I'm going to eat this up, and thank you so much. If you have any questions, pop them below. Peace.